Well, this is kind of a problem here. We have an aircraft spotted, and, um, what the fuck? I'm loading the external reserve. This was a really poor decision. Um, fuck. And I don't have a watch officer on deck, either. I should probably just be diving right now. He's gonna go over us. Shit. It's really close, too, so... No. Jawohl, Herr Kaloy. Feuer frei. Jawohl, Herr Kaloy. Auf anfliegende Ziele feuern. Holy shit. See now, I haven't done this too much, but I think that he's close enough that there's really nothing else we can do. I don't see him yet. There he is. He's going to come in for a bombing run. Can you please start shooting now? He's actually pretty far, I guess, so... I'm going to accelerate and turn hard. Holy shit, holy shit. This was probably a bad idea. Can you start shooting now, please? Fuck it. What? Hello? Oh god, why isn't this working? You tarred! There's the fucking bombs. Jesus H. What the fuck is wrong with you? What are you doing? Is there something that I'm missing here where we can't use the flat gun? We have a crewman on it. Oh, his endurance. God damn it. I double clicked it and it's like loads the least competent crewman it possibly can. Fuck. See, the reason he was just sitting there was that he uh, was too tired to be on the post. That is so bad. He's not going to come in for another attack, I don't think, but... We just basically got lucky there. There's no way we're going to be able to hit him. So why not shoot at him some more? That's really appalling. Like, that's not even acceptable. The game is supposed to load somebody who can do the job. And even though it gave this a full green on it, the guy was way too exhausted to be even doing it. That's shit. Is he going to come back? Probably not. Wow, that's some bullshit. Whatever. Well, we're alive, I guess. That was pretty scary, though. We got pretty lucky there. I'm going to keep the flat gunner on deck while we finish loading the external reserve, which still has 20 minutes. So we could definitely see another aircraft, possibly the same one. Jerk. Four jerks inside of your jerk plane. Hopefully they don't set more jerk planes. They probably will, to be honest, but we'll see. Uh, let's return to course. Probably have a good idea of where I'm going and what I am doing. So, yeah, that was pretty sloppy. Very sloppy, in fact. That's not, uh, not good submarining, but whatever. We're alive. <laughs> Barely. And uh, we're just going to keep going on our merry way and probably get bombed to hell and gone. Okay, uh, so I just did a dive, and I have some kind of merchant contact here. I'm heading west, and he appears to be heading southeast. Whoops! So, uh, he's moving medium speed, so that means anywhere between 8 and 12. So we're going to have to really move our ass to catch him. That's exactly southeast. He's probably not doing that exactly, though. So I'm going to turn us around. 
And yeah, he's cruising, so we better get to getting. Oh, we can already see him. Okay, hopefully he doesn't see us. That would be bad. We have a little bit of bad experiences lately with being seen by things. And there he is, and that is a nice sight to see. Because that is a tanker of some kind. I don't know what yet, but we're going to find out. So, uh, I need to give him some more room here. Maybe uh, something like this. Give ourselves about two hours to overtake him. There's probably some math I could do to figure this out, I guess. But why don't we move this line up so that it's a little bit more correct. And that looks probably about right. We want to intercept him around here, maybe. So why don't we... Do an arbitrary line like that, I guess. Okay, so that gives us three hours. Let's go ahead full. And hope that he doesn't see us. It's already out of sight now. And hope that nothing else sees us, because that would be embarrassing. Okay. Alright, I'm liking this. No sightings so far. Seem to have definitely pulled ahead. We're gonna dive. Perfect. Oh, he's a little bit further to the west than I want him to be though, so we're gonna have to keep going. And... Yeah, we've got a ways to go actually too. Let me stretch that out to there. Actually, we're going to intercept him right around where we sank those other two, those two, uh, large merchants. Okay, wait a minute. Let's be a little bit more thoughtful about this. It's a lot to ask, I know. Okay, now we're going to dive. There we go. 116. So that I drew that a little bit more steeply than I needed to. Now. This is probably good, actually. Um, why don't we wait just a second and then we'll um, orient ourselves uh, northeast so that we can use the aft tube. And maybe even back it up a little bit once we get into position. Okay, back up. Let's get rid of the flag. Let's keep going. Good. Okay, he's moving pretty quickly. We need to start getting ready to do a snapshot here. Okay. Not a snapshot. A snapshot is where you basically just shoot. You don't really take the time to compute a solution. But for all practical intents and purposes... So these are the tankers. Let's start with a large and hope that that's what it is, I guess. Uh, it's off to the aft, and that is not a large tanker. The uh, engine house, wheelhouse, whatever. I guess this is the cabin. I, I don't know how this shit works. <laughs> I'm not going to pretend like I know naval terminology that well, but this is usually quite large and quite distinctive, leading me to believe that could be... Nope, masks are wrong. I think it is a modern tanker. It's got a large mast in front of this cabin here, and then it's got a couple of... A series of them behind between there and the stack so that's definitely what that is let's lock that in and wait for him to come up a little bit closer which shouldn't take very much time because he's cruising okay that's probably good yeah 
that's good and close. Still got the right ID on him. The range by that front mast there, which is the tallest. Not actually fully up. Let's go up a little bit more. This would be a great uh, way to end the patrol. We have one more torpedo left, actually, if we hit him with this one. It's almost 45. It's actually steeper than 45. Which means we might get kind of a shitty speed reading. We'll give it a try all the same. It is bright out, so I'm not too sure. Nine knots is just barely within the medium speed range. I think I'm just going to have to take it. Set this to an impact pistol because I think I want to just get his fuel on fire. That would be fine. That looks like a good solution. Um, all right, here goes nothing. Oh, and I forgot to open the tube. Oh, well. Could, could be bad. But we're going to keep going uh, southeast. Just hope and pray that that hits. That seemed to be a pretty good solution to me. But let's go ahead and follow along. If he does see the torpedo, we're kind of boned, because he will probably come to a stop. The modern tankers are different from the other kinds in that they don't run on coal, so they are a little bit more nimble, but not by much, actually. <laughs> Saying that, I realize that it is still a 10,000 ton ship, and I think we're going to hit him. But the angle's a little bit funny. It is possible that it'll deflect. Thankfully, I didn't use a magnetic, which would have been... Well, no, a magnetic could have done the job here. No, I think he might be turning. And I think we're going to hit him, but is it going to be where it's going to do significant damage? It's going to hit him right... Ooh. Right in the stern. That's not going to get any of his fuel on fire. But with that said, his stack has gone dead. So we might have immobilized them, which is pretty crucial with a ship like this, because they move so quickly. Um, okay, let's head south then. Of course, we wouldn't know any of this without our scope up. Let's just keep our eyes on him. The stack is still dead. Now, he could get it restarted. So I guess he was probably going about 10 for our solution. Nine is kind of an unusual speed, I guess, so. Seems to me like the game tends to favor rounder, even numbers, but that could just be my imagination. He's still, um, he's still moving, he's just got carryover speed from his uh, previous momentum, but he's not putting out any smoke, which is good. That means he's probably gonna come to a stop here. That probably means that we'll be able to basically shoot at him with impunity. He's making noise still, but that may just be leftovers. And in fact, our sound operator is just got a fix on him and he's not moving. So let's just get on the surface really quickly and do this because I don't want to run into any more fucking planes. Because <laughs> uh, that would be bad. Oh, I said periscope depth. I want surface. Okay. Now, I'm going to take a look at him, because he could be armed. And he is actually sinking by the stern. So that's good. Um, we're going to kind of wheel around here. And I'm going to go ahead and let the crew take shots at him. Hopefully they'll hit the front quarter of his ship. Let's speed things up a little. Whoa, hey, okay. <laughs> it's a little bit of an overshot, though, I think. Nope. We'll just let them go to town on it. Good, we got a fire. Another fire. Hit the anchor, which was pointless. <laughs> These things don't tend to explode. 
like ammo ships for instance <laughs> ammo ships will just go up like a freaking well like a bomb because they basically are just floating bombs um these just burn though and that does whole damage over time i think so there you go that's definitely a cargo fire for them that's what we want he doesn't appear to be armed and if he is he's not shooting so that's pretty much all i care about that's why I was going kind of in front of him, is so that I could limit his uh, offensive capabilities, so he would only be able to use, uh, or he wouldn't be able to use any of his guns. Usually if you go in front of them, they can't use any of them because you've uh, blocked them with their own ship. Bit surprised that that torpedo hit. I mean, off of the round part of the hull, that's kind of surprising, but... I'll take it. Don't get me wrong. She's going down. Beautiful. A 10,000 ton tanker just falls in our lap practically. If we can find it. <laughs> and we take it out with a single torpedo and a, a nice spread of uh, deck gun shots. And that thing is going to go to the briny deep. Although it's not too deep in here, so who knows. They'll probably be able to raise it. Maybe they won't. I don't know. It's not my department. Okay, so we're out of the Firth again, um, and there's a radio contact, interestingly, but it's going east, which is not interesting in any way. So we've sunk a cluster of ships here. We probably should start making our way home uh, towards Lorient now, because we have one torpedo. And if we get any circumstantial contacts, I'll take them, but whoops, don't want to run into Silly. Silliest place of all. Where hamburgers eat people. Everyone wears pants on their heads. Alright. So. I think that if we don't get another contact, though, that's a pretty nice way to top off the patrol. Um, but so for the time being, though, we're going to head through the Irish Sea back home. And uh, give ourselves an oil bath off of all the oil that's... That's gross. That scene in Star Wars where C-3PO says, Oh, this oil bath is going to feel so good. is just one of the most unnerving moments in cinema. Anyways, that has nothing to do with the matters at hand. We're going to keep going and hope for another contact. If we don't get it, we'll just trundle on home. Okay, well, um, we're in Lorient, obviously, which is good news. Um, but I have some pretty bad news, actually, too. Um... Basically, I think the gist of it is just that the save files for this game have become corrupted. This career is corrupt. I've been taking money under the table. I've been... I'm a loose cannon. I don't know. So I'm... Uh, basically what happened is after the tanker attack, I saved the game. And then uh, when I did that, the game crashed. <laughs> and so uh, that's like the third time it's happened just in this patrol. So I'm thinking that... Basically, I've uh, been saving way too often, and I have to, because um, fraps in this game, they don't play too well together. So, um, you know, I have to do it just to assure that I keep my progress, and that if I do crash or something weird happens, that I can revert to that last save and, you know, call things good. Um... Now, the problem, though, is that I think I've been doing that too much, and it's uh, not liking me for doing that. So, uh, I have to figure out a technical workaround for this, because I think that this whole career is pretty much borked at this point. It's pretty much done for. Uh, I had some big plans for the next patrol, but I want to, um, you know, I want to avoid any more technical problems, because this is ridiculous. Like, it's been, like, like I say, three times that this has happened where I've had to re-record whole sections, and I think it's been showing in my demeanor and my voice that I'm getting a little bit frustrated with the game. So, um, we're in Lorient. I'm going to end the patrol if it will let me. Um, and I'm probably going to, what's going to happen is I'm going to have to recreate a new career for Spunkmire here. Uh, and then try to mimic, you know, by editing the save file, but try to mimic the progress that we've made as much as possible. I don't know if I'm technically the right guy to do that because I'm sort of knowledgeable about the save files. You can edit them with Silent Hunter 3 Commander, but I'm not really very comfortable with doing it. I mean, I've only 
made some very, very minor changes in previous careers. So I don't know if a complete overhaul is really within my power here. But anyways, I'm going to give it a try. If it doesn't work, we'll just assume that all the progress that I had under this career is carried over to the next one. Because <laughs> I know that you can edit simple things like Renown and uh, you can edit your crew and so on. So that's what's probably going to happen. Uh, I'm kind of bummed out about it but i mean now that i talk about the workaround it sounds okay it sounds like it's not that big of a deal so i'm gonna end the patrol it's not gonna um it's not gonna give me credit probably for the tonnage we did get that uh, cruiser um i don't think though that it's gonna that doesn't reflect the um i don't think that reflects the modern tanker but that's okay i'm <laughs> i can deal with that We've got promotions and medals to hand out. Uh, I think I will probably bypass that altogether, though, because I don't think it's going to carry... Well, I mean, obviously, it's not going to carry over because I'm starting a new career. So, uh, we ended on December 8th. What I will probably do is, in the new career, start us at the beginning of uh, 1941, and there's going to be a lot of changes, um, both in terms of our ship, I guess, but also in terms of how I'm going to be... Uh, well, I'm going to add mods. I guess I'll just spoil it. I'm going to finally add some mods to the game other than GWX and make this a little bit more immersive. I don't want to ruin your immersion. So uh, I'm going to make it a little bit more fun and a little bit more full of eye candy and stuff. So you have that to look forward to. If I can fix everything, I think I probably can. So, uh, so that was kind of a depressing patrol in some ways. It wasn't very productive tonnage-wise. I guess it actually wasn't that bad tonnage-wise, but we definitely have run into a game-crushing bug that I will have to work around. So it may take me a while to put up some more videos, but um, actually that brings up a very good point, and I'm glad I thought of this. There is another uh, YouTuber out there who is putting out Silent Hunter 3 videos. He just started, and uh, he's in a different theater. He's using some different mods for me. And I strongly encourage you to check those out. His name is Tail Mange, and I will put a link uh, probably somewhere here in the video <laughs> or uh, also in the description. Definitely encourage you to check those out. He's very entertaining, and I hope that you uh, get a kick out of watching him. Hopefully he's uh, still recording as of the time that uh, this comes out. But uh, anyways, I am um, going to sign off for now. Uh, feeling a little bummed out but i am hopeful a very hopeful effing controller signing off and wishing you all a wonderful day evening twilight no twilight we don't like twilight i'll catch you guys later <laughs>